I might need to really trim it because it's kind of hard to put it in. All right, so this guy is in. I think that's a 100 ohm resistor, by the way, and my power source is 3 volts currently. So we have power coming from yellow, going to the resistor, oops, going to uh, row 10 here, and then I'm going to plug in my LED, the long side, also to 10, so it can get the power from the resistor. And then we're going to put them over into this row now, and then we're going to attach that to the ground. Uh, which I just realized is not plugged in. Okay, wait, so I need to just put my LED. Uh, let's see, what's the best way of doing this? If I put LED in, can it stretch to the ground? I guess it can. It's kind of messy. But, <clears throat> you know, the first one's not going to be great. So we have a positive, sorry, move the camera, oops. Or we have positive resistor going to 10, which goes to the LED, which goes to the ground. So this should work. I don't think this will explode because this guy is supposed to limit the current. Um, so let's, I'm going to plug it in and see what happens. So we have our positive going in and we have our negative and there we have light. So it does work. Um, we have power going to the positive rail, which goes through the led, sorry, through the resistor into the led out to the ground. And the idea here is that if we were to uh, ruin any part of this, for example, if we were to take out the resistor, then it no longer works because we've broken the connection between positive and the LED. Um, and if we were to plug this directly in to the power, I'm pretty sure it would like burst or something. Anyway, so that's pretty much where I'm starting. Um, my goal is to get to the point where I can use the transistors to do a lot of logical evaluations. And uh, that's it. I also have some capacitors here, which I did not show somewhere. Um, I know that capacitors, are these capacitors? I think these are capacitors. Yeah, I know that capacitors basically hold a charge um, like little batteries, but I will get there. I also have a, uh, a meter. Let me plug out this guy. I have a meter. Uh, it's pretty cheap. My camera is way too close. It's pretty cheap. Uh, I can read. I guess uh, direct current, alternating current. Uh, I think this is continuity to see if something is plugged in or live. If you have a, a circuit, a path, this is <coughs> excuse me. This is a resistance. Uh, I don't know what this is. Is it current? Maybe it's current. And this uh, this is the same, right? This is direct current uh, volt. This is voltage. Yeah, this is voltage, resistance, um, continuity. It will beep, you know. Uh, and then this is, I think, I guess current. And uh, alternating current voltage. It's interesting because this A right here, um, it has a direct current symbol, I think. So maybe it's only um, the the um, the amps or the current in for direct current. Maybe it can't measure alternating. I'm not really sure. Anyway, uh, right now we have three volts um, in here. So maybe what I should do is plug in and see if the voltage is correct. 
that's probably something that makes sense to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to put my resistor back in, but I'm going to my power is off right now. Um, I think I'm going I'm to cut this guy. I don't like how long he is, so I'm going to use this guy and cut these. Maybe I can use the sticks after that are left over to make my reading. So I'm going to put my little sticks over here and then I'm going to plug in the resistor. <clears throat> Could probably still be even shorter than this, but this is a lot better. So I'm going to plug it in to, let's say 10, make it uh, memorable, 10. Okay, definitely needs to be shorter, so. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. All right. 10. He's kind of... Hmm. The other one... All right, let me trim it. Because that's silly. All right. One cut. Two cut. Hopefully I didn't make it too short, but I think this is a lot better. So we have 10 and this guy. Cool. And I just used um, this blade right here to chop him. He's like a little alligator. All right. So that guy's in. Um, so that means we'll have a safe current. That's the idea anyway. And... What I want to do now is plug back in my LED. Uh, my LED, the long side, right? The long one needs to be positive. So that's going to go into the same side of the resistor. And I'm just going to send it down to... Um, actually, let me do it down here. Uh, yeah, I'll do it down here. Okay, so from 10 to, let's say, 13. Because it looks like it wants to go to 13. So right now the circuit is going from positive to the resistor, into the LED, and then out to 13. So right now, obviously, we have nothing going from 13 to ground, so this shouldn't turn on. So let me turn on the power and just confirm that I'm not unaware. All right, so my power is in, and we have no light because there's not a circuit, right? We have power coming in, or trying to come in, I guess, and going out the LED, but there's nothing here that connects back to ground to go back, so it's not on. So that is good. Um, so I do need to create that path to, to ground, but what I want to do is be able to use my meter, and I need to have um, some point that I can touch with my pins because my pins are too big to go into these holes. So... I need to stick some stuff in here that I can connect to. So I'm going to, uh, what should I do? I'm gonna use one of these connections and just send it down just to, to get out of the way of anything. So I'm gonna shoot this down to 23, I think. Yeah, 23, if he wants to go in. Okay. These are like little firm wires. They're really good for this, from what I could see. This one is not very firm, but anyway. Um, so we have 13 going down to 23. And the reason I'm doing that is just so I can work without touching anything here. And then I'm gonna put in one of those little sticks that I took off of the resistor. I guess it's a wire. He doesn't want to cooperate. Okay. All right. So he's on 23. And I'm going to do another one to ground. If I can pick him up with my nails. I probably need something better than this. These look a little flimsy, but i uh, got to start somewhere. All right. So this is going to go into ground. Make sure it's not positive. All right. 
I'm not sure if that's visible, but there's one here. And there's one here. All right, so now if I turn on the power, then I, sh I should be able to get a reading of the, of the voltage. So I'm gonna turn on my little voltage meter. Um, I should probably raise this. My little light's getting in the way. All right, there we go. And uh, get the meter. It's not very visible. And then I'm gonna touch it to these two and we should get zero right now, right? Because, yeah. All right, so now let's plug in our power. A one, two. And then if when we touch these, the LED should turn on. Is LED on? I don't see it. I can't tell. The LED should be on. I'm reading 2.5 volts. Uh, it should be three, so I'm not really sure what's happening. Maybe the resistor is doing something to it. But I don't know if the LED is on right now. So what I'm going to do is plug out my power. Let me uh, turn this off. Uh, you know what? Let's check current. Let's check the current. So current, I think, is on this side. So I'm going to put it to uh, this 10 right here. And maybe, okay, nothing showing up. So we have our first roadblock, <laughs> which uh, figures it's fitting. So what I'm going to do is just make sure that the LED is still working, which of course it is. So I'm going to plug out my power. And then I'm going to, uh, maybe, is my LED the right way? Let me just double check that, yeah. Positive, 13, down to 23, yeah. All right, plug these guys out. And I'm gonna plug this in to ground. All right, so now we have our circuit again. Hopefully we have positive to the resistor, to the LED, to ground. Plug in my power. And now that works. <coughs> so I'm wondering if maybe the resistance in the meter itself didn't allow it to turn on which is kind of weird because you would think it would have very little effect so that you could read stuff. But the LED works. Um, but when I try and take the voltage, it does not work. Now it is three volts. I don't know if I'm supposed to be higher, but I am starting with the lowest possible voltage uh, out of an abundance of caution. So this little, I have a little adapter. It's like a multi uh, voltage cell phone type charger and it has like three five nine or seven point five nine and twelve maybe that's what i'm using um so anyway the circuit works need to figure out what's happening with the meter um maybe i can read the voltage of the wire separately or something. I don't know. Anyway, uh, so I'll go on from here. Actually, what I should do next <coughs> is just use a switch, right? That, that's probably the next step. So I do have some switches. I have two switches. I have a push button switch, um, and which is one of these. And I have a, like a, slide switch, I guess, or like a rack, kind of like a regular light switch. So that's a switch right there. We click him. 
Uh, so let's see if that works. I'm going to plug out my power. And I guess what we can do is just... Um, the switch... Let me get my little helper claw. So the switch has two pins. And they connect when we press the button. So pretty simple. I'm going to... It should be simple, hopefully. I thought the meter would be simple, too. Um, we put one pin where the LED is coming out, is what I'm thinking. Oops. So we have power going through the resistor, into the LED, into the button, into uh, 13 for the button, and then the button will output to 15. So if I put my ground back in, I guess I shouldn't have plugged it out. Put my ground back in, and I put this little dude in ground. All right. So just to make sure, I don't know where my little cover is that I use. Oh wait, no, that's not him. Oh, here he is. All right. So we have power to the resistor. Let me right lift this. Right, do the resistor into the LED, Ding. turns on, well, maybe. So goes in, goes out into the button, and then when the button is pressed, then it will allow the current to go through to 15, which will then allow it to go to ground, creating the circuit. When we don't press the button, the power comes from the rail into resistor, up into LED, out into the button, but then he gets stuck in here which means he can't go home and it doesn't flow so the LED doesn't, doesn't turn on. So I'm gonna plug in my power, a one, a two, and we have no power on the LED, which is a good sign. And if I press the little button, he turns on, perfect. Because as we press the button, it makes a connection and 13 is able to go to 15. So we have power, from the power strip over or through the resistor up into the LED. He lights up, he goes down uh, into the switch, uh, I guess the inside of the switch. The button is pressed, so it goes to the outside of the switch and then it goes to our brown wire to ground. So that's nice. And I'm assuming that we can just keep connecting switches of <laughs> if we want it. Um, so I'm going to plug out my power. Let's just see if we could do like two switches. So I'm going to connect the output of this switch down more. And then I'm going to get another switch. I guess I could just put the switch here, but I'm, I'll sp spread it out. Let's get another one of these little dudes. And so he'll take power from 21, I'll put it to 23. And then um, that one brown cord I had is kind of long now. I don't even know where he went. So I have another one here somewhere. All right, here's a gray one. Hopefully he reaches, yeah. So from 23 to ground. So in this case, if this works, we have resistor through LED to the first button if it's pressed to the second button, and if it's pressed, it will go to ground. So let's plug this in and see what we got. So we have a uh, positive negative so one button doesn't work another button doesn't work but two buttons should work that does work all right cool i guess next we need to start working with some transistors because that's kind of what i wanted to do as a focus uh, 